Hi, last video I have shown you how to design the PCB using dip trays. Now let's see how to edge this using toner transfer. For my toner transfer I am using this glossy paper from a free advertising magazine. You can easily print on it and then transfer easily the toner to the copper layer of the PCB. I print the design several times on one page and then pick the print that I am satisfied with. This method only works with laser printers. I got mine from Amazon for about 70 bucks. After cutting it to the right shape, I pick my big bag of PCBs and search for a piece which has the right size. Then I cut it to the right shape here with my tool. Afterwards I sand this a bit and clean it up. You can use your regular iron to transfer the toner, but you have to assure that you are using just the center of the iron where no holes are present. I am using the highest setting of the iron. Since I want to keep my iron clean, I'm using this tissue in between. Also it helps me to see if I've applied enough pressure to the board and skipped all the holes on the bottom of the iron. Usually 20 seconds with high pressure are enough. I like it to check if all corners are okay and then just apply another 10 seconds to it. Don't burn your fingers, the piece is quite hot. To get the paper off, I just put it in the sink and let it soak for a moment. Afterwards, I Gently try to peel this paper off. The toner will stick to the copper. If you are cheap like me and using this advertisement paper, also some of this advertisement might stick to the board as well. But no worries, you can easily scrape this off in the next step. I use my X-Acto knife to clean up the areas which does not belong to the circuit.
One funny thing happened to me here. I thought there is another pin, which is obviously not there. And I also just cut a trace, which I have to correct with the marker again. Look, there's the phantom pad. It actually isn't in the design and also the pin next to it should be connected to the trace and I scraped it off. But no worries, you can correct this with the marker. If there are some areas where the toner didn't stick to, you can correct this with this marker. I'm also using it to support areas which I think might be too thin. I also like to support the holes a bit more, since they might rip off during the drilling. This is your last chance to correct your bots, since afterwards there is no copper left and you have to use some barge wires. This looks good now, so let's put it in the sodium persulfate solution. Always take a look on the security hints of the chemicals you are using. I am using almost boiling water and a ratio 5 parts water, 1 part sodium persulfate. The hotter the water, the faster the etching. Don't panic if you touch the solution, you won't dissolve like the guy in Robocop. Just wash your hands before picking your nose again. Make sure you vent the room enough and don't inhale too much of the fumes. You can reuse the solution until it's saturated. Keep an eye on the board during the etching. After all the free copper is gone, you just pick out the board using your plastic tweezers and dry it a bit. Don't pour the solution down the drain since it is hazardous waste. I let the water evaporate from an open jar on the balcony and collect the blue crystals. It kinda looks like the crystal map from Breaking Bad. The traces are still covered with toner now, we have to clean this up. I'm using acetone to clean off the toner. This is really satisfying, especially if you're doing this the first time. It might not be perfect, but it's mine. In the next step we have to drill the holes for the headers. Be sure you don't miss a hole. Since the headers I have are of quadratic shape, I like to widen the holes a bit more from the other side. Clean it from the dust and finished is your homemade board. <laughs> 